What's going on guys, Matt Schaefer back here with another radar and laser defense system here for you. This one is a stealth system in a 2021 BMW M8, so let's check it out. Now, starting with the front laser defense, we broke this up in between two separate systems. Sorry for the cicadas in the background, nothing I can do about this. We did this job about a year ago, just for reference, and when we did the delivery, it was pouring down rain. So this thing is back here to get some updates with some other things, so I can finally do a video on this system. But like I was saying, we divided the system between two different systems. We have a Escort Max CI radar system, front and rear radar receivers, and then we have a AL Priority front and rear laser diffuser system. So in the front, uh, I can kind of show you what we built. We have a diffuser there, a diffuser there, and a diffuser there. So we have two RX sensors on either side in those custom made housings. And then we have a TX there in the center. So as you can see from the side, try and give you a little bit better view, kind of hard to see, but like I said, we have pods made here that is housing the RX sensor. And the front of that is skimmed with IR acrylic. So it's light transmitting acrylic. Therefore the diffuser can be behind that. It's less than an eighth inch Thick. So it's about 16th inch thick and uh, only blocks out about 2% of the transmission is lost. So still a lot of signal being able to come right through without any kind of hindrance of the signal. It's made from the same material as the face of the sensor itself. Therefore, like I said, it's not going to really block anything incoming. And what it does do is it keeps the sensors from getting wet and obviously it builds them into the car's front end, right? So you can't even tell that anything is on this vehicle. So as you can see, a lot of manufacturers are doing similar things like there in the center, you see the factory radar receiver and that's for like adaptive cruise control. So it can sense other cars on the road so it can speed up and slow down automatically uh, the electronic brake system all runs through that so it can see where it's coming up to on a vehicle in traffic like Mazda Mercedes they have those sensors, but they build them behind the Mercedes emblem or the Mazda emblem right there in the center so building these is a very similar way to add laser defense right so it's building it into the car making everything look organic and 100% OEM. So when you're looking at the front of this car, you really don't have any idea that anything is installed in the car from the average person looking at it. Because again, those pods are gonna blend in looking like it's a piece of OEM equipment. In this case, we have our radar receiver right there behind the grill. Looking at the rear of the vehicle, we have our license plate frame that we make and that houses a RX and a TX respectively behind it. So same kind of concept, this is IR acrylic. Uh, the shiny black part is where the light can transmit through. We paint match this to the vehicle, making it look like a factory license plate frame. Of course, added the M logo, but up here, there and there, we have an RX and a TX. So if I take this off, this is magnetic. I just have our mosaic tag there. So taking the plate frame off, again, completely magnetic. You see all those magnets around. And there's our frame. And up there, you can see our RX and you can see our TX there, right? So those sensors are straight. They're firing straight back. It's gonna give us concealed protection through the top of this plate frame, which is IR acrylic. So the plate frame snaps right back on magnetically. And again, everything's perfectly concealed in the back. You would never have any idea that there are diffusers on here. So again, if you were to do diffusers on here uh, without the plate frame, it would get a little bit difficult because this is a metal trunk lid, which is gonna pop up. So the diffusers would have to mount to the trunk lid itself. All right, so showing you the interior of the system. Starting off with the display for the Escort, the Escort always comes with a physical LCD display. So what we did in this case is we make this pod. Uh, it's different in every car. Obviously every car is gonna have different spots that are gonna be better visibility or functionality. 
and integration. So in this case, we make this pod, we stack some acrylic and then finish the front with that acrylic. So when you're looking at it from the side, it looks like a OEM display, much like you see up here. So we actually mimicked that same design from this pod and we inverted it. So we flipped it upside down and that's where you got that. So you have that display up there and then you have this display here. This display here is gonna be your escort. It's gonna show you your radar alerts and everything like that. And you can change the colors to match the interior. In this case, we made an amber to match the interior colors. So again, your alerts are gonna be there for that. You have an LED that you can see peeking right behind that monitor right there. That's gonna be for our AL priority. The controllers are right here. So we basically made this pod here. We have a USB update for each system, the AL priority and the escort there and there respectively. And we have a kill switch right here for the systems. So this is a master kill switch. We can turn that off. Right now, it turned off the power to both of our units. I can flip it back on. And there you go, you have everything turning back on. So that's gonna be your master kill switch in case for whatever reason you were to ever get pulled over. detection, active. You can kill all the speakers immediately, no problems. The controllers now, we basically make this little top piece. This magnetically attaches, as you can see there. There's two magnets embedded in. That's what these two magnets are for. So we can take this, put that right there. It magnetizes to it. And basically we have our AL priority controller and we have our escort controller. So it's a way that integrates it into where you can use it. So if you wanted to use it all the time, you just keep that to the side. Like I said, if you ever wanted to completely conceal it, you then just take this so it magnetizes into place, completely concealing everything. We do this on a lot of vehicles. Again, every vehicle is gonna be different on where you can conceal it. Obviously the space up here is all usable with phone mounts and cup holders and stuff like that. So that is really a full detailed breakdown on that part of it. It does work through Bluetooth as well. So I can come into the unit, I can scan, I can attach, and the phone can then become your full-time display. So the cool part about this is you can also update the firmware of the AL Priority system directly from the phone. So you don't have to go to a computer. You can always update the firmware from here. You know, I always recommend it weekly. So everything is staying up to date with the latest algorithms for a lot of the new firmware of the guns that come out. Um, so whatever the cop is shooting, uh, this will update that accordingly. So that's basically the full spectrum of the job. You have your radar, you have your laser system, both working independently. That is the best, that offers the best protection for any car. Escort, in my opinion, has the best radar filtering and the AL Priority undoubtedly has the best laser um, jamming that's you know out there on the market. So you can always do a more, not entry level system, but an all in one system, which will reduce the cost. You can do a full Escort Max CI 360 system, or you can do a full AL Priority with net radar. That would be an all in one system, which is gonna dramatically reduce the overall cost of the system. But again, this is gonna offer the best protection. And the reason you're putting in putting this in is to get the best protection period. So really, that's this full job in a nutshell. Thank you very much for following all these builds. If you wanna see other builds, radar systems, I can attach the playlist at the end of this so you can watch a bunch of them at once you can always check out our website mosaicdesign.com slash radar that's going to bring you to all of the different systems that we've done in vehicles so you can see the breakdown of each individual build you can see the behind the scenes the pictures of the fabrication all of that kind of stuff and each job is also going to have a youtube video attached to it so go ahead and check that out. Here is my number followed by my email address. These are the two best points of contact for me. If you have a job, you want something done, or you just have some questions, contact me at these two spots here. If you're new to the YouTube channel, make sure you hit that alert button. Uh, that way you're notified anytime we drop a new video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Here's our three handles below. Also, 
You can see some of these build videos on TikTok as well, some of these integration jobs. So I'd recommend you go ahead and do that right now. And like always guys, I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the support watching the videos. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.